So I could we were talking about how actions should emerge out of innovation platforms, and we covered a range of issues, and I'll just pick out a few nuggets. First question was about how who should facilitate innovation platforms, um, and we there was various possibilities, including NGOs, universities. We thought probably at the beginning, uh, we as the NBDC would have to start things off because we would act as a neutral partner, but the vision would be to transfer ownership and facilitation of partners to more permanent local stakeholders as things progress. We then talked about resources. Um, if actions emerge from innovation platforms, where would the resources come from to uh, fund those actions? Um, we talked about the potential for using the CPWF Innovation Fund as a way of pump priming some initial actions. But we acknowledge that there's always a trade-off between using uh, NBDC, CPWF type funds for funding actions because that's unsustainable because the funds will run out after the project completes. So really our vision is for shifting the sourcing of actions away from us as a project to uh, more permanent donor type resources, shifting donor resources to meet platform objectives. Uh, we then talked about the themes for some of these innovation platforms, um, how broad should the themes be. Um, there was a suggestion that maybe we should let farmers decide on what the themes for these innovation platforms should be, but then farmers might decide that baboons were really the main issue. Um, how do we then move it broader than the immediate issues that farmers face to more long-term and more landscape issues. There's always a balance between the short-term objectives of farmers and the long-term objectives um, relating to landscapes, rainwater management at the landscape scale leading to long-term landings. Finally, we talked about power relations within innovation platforms, how we ensure that different voices are heard. There's the obvious issue of Gender, uh, sometimes um, women uh, will not speak in, in, uh, in rooms full of men. Farmers might not speak in front of DAs. Um, and so ensuring those all voices are heard and taken seriously is a real challenge. And perhaps as we set these platforms up, we might need to think about how we address some of these cultural issues. One suggestion was that the location of some of these meetings is important rather than having them in formal office type situations, having them in farmer's fields, under trees and that kind of thing, helps to break down some of the power 